What's up and welcome to Coors Light number two, AKA Coors Light one, but better. That's not always how things work, but I am very confident in today's episode. And I'm also very excited to share the news that we have a concrete schedule here. Every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday, we will be going live with an episode of Coors Light. Tuesday and Thursday, we're going live at five. And Saturday, we're going to be going live at noon. We're going to be doing three two minute segments. We had to cut one of them in order to do three videos a week. But as you're about to see, I think it is worth it because the first video we have is a John Morant conspiracy. that I legitimately stumbled upon on accident. And I'm just gonna go and show you how I found it myself. So just like everyone else, I'm afraid that chat GDP is going to take over the world one day. While using it though, I found something very strange. Watch this. Can you provide me clickable links to John Morant's 2021 strip club incident? There are three incidents that all have dead links. That means they've been scrubbed off the internet by someone. Morant and a group of friends were at the strip club when a physical altercation broke out between Morant's group and the club's staff. It was reported Morant's group had spent a large money at the club and became upset when they did not receive the services they expected. Following the incident, John issued a statement on social media expressing regret. Watch this. If this link works, you can have my house page does not exist. Also, I do not yet own a house. Regardless, why would you delete an apology? If you are to type anything about that incident, all you're going to find are 2023 things. Let's go back to chat GDP. In September 2021, John Morant's father, T. Morant, was involved in an incident where he fired a warning shot into the air during an altercation at a local bar. T. Morant was later arrested and charged with unlawfully carrying a weapon. Following the incident, John Morant issued a statement on social media expressing his support for his father. Does it exist? As ChatGDP does their thing, we'll just go over here and we'll just... T. Morant fires gun into air. Does not result in a Google search that works. Back to chat GDP. Support for his family. So, okay. No, the page doesn't exist. My pops is a great man known by many. A mistake doesn't take that away. And I'm grateful to have him as my father. This isn't even a statement you would need to scrub unless someone is hiding something. Who? August 2019, it was reported that John Moran's car was broken into in a bag containing a handgun and some other items were stolen. What? Curious who you think wants this information gone. But at the end of the day, again, we just want what is best for John. He is one of the brightest young stars in the game. And speaking of the brightest young stars. Extra, 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 read all about it. Let's get a little hate into this video. Let's get a little Charles Barkley coming at Victor Wembenyama. Everybody that wants this kid, it look like he's great. But you really can't tell until you get to the NBA. Just cause he's killing people over in the Czech Republic that he's gonna come over here and dominate. I just don't believe yeah, it. I Now, of course, Chuck does have a point here. But for real, when it comes to number one picks, I dug in and I found who I think were five players who, when they were teenagers, were immediate stars. And Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Luka Doncic, Carmelo Anthony, and Zion Williamson. These are guys that I would consider the best case scenario. Again, on the other side here, five players who had delayed starts. We had Kevin Garnett, Dwight Howard, Jason Tatum, Tracy McGrady, and Kobe Bean Bryant. And I have to say that, well, we're just gonna, we're just gonna watch the tape here. Remember my love for Kobe. Setting the stage here, we have a rookie Kobe Bryant. 10 seconds left, tie game. For some reason, given the ball in an elimination game against the Utah Jazz in the second round, and Kobe, that was an air ball for the ages. That barely hit the net. Regardless though, we see in overtime, there he is, Kobe's air ball. On the other end, fans are going crazy. Carl Malone, eh. Regardless, there's Kobe driving. The man's about to do it. Here we go. Three point game for the tie. No. At this point, Kobe's, you are, you are embodying keep shooting. And you are Kobe, and it did end up working out in the ultimate way, especially because you have one last chance three point game. It can all still, everything can be erased if only Kobe Bryant. Air ball again, you can- You know this is actually the origin of Kobe? Of course not. Kobe Bryant would learn from this. He would go on to become one of the greatest players we have ever seen putt. Again, back to Chuck's point, Victor Wembenyama might not be ready immediately for the moment even Kobe Bryant was. The thing is though, I do want to give a shout out to a rookie Carmelo Anthony on this list who led his team to the playoffs, something LeBron James did not do. And this was the guy that Melo used to be. Anthony, played by James. Anthony with the shot, yes! 
Even LeBron did not see that one coming. But as we all know, LeBron James is, I think, pretty much a wizard. He's able to tell the future. Speaking of Kobe, remember, LeBron said he predicted that Kobe would score 81 points. He got to like 70. I, I was like, well, he might as well go for 80 now. Okay. Um, believable. So here, though, at the end of the day is the question. We have a LeBron James tweet. And here we have the original tweet. Y'all remember when LeBron had front row seats to watch some kid from Charlotte hoop in March Madness? And LeBron said, wasn't some kid to me. I knew he was special. That's why I went to see it up close and personal. And the thing is, there is the possibility that he here, he really was riding with Steph. So I want to know what you think, because we're not looking at this Wisconsin game. Instead, we are actually before that. As you can see, title of this video, Steph Curry shocking LeBron James during college game. We're watching the second half of NC State versus Davidson. This was during Steph's sophomore season. Remember, Steph and LeBron were born in the same hospital, and Steph's dad played in the NBA. There is a very big chance that LeBron was a big Steph fan early on, because of course, everybody got caught up into this hype during the NCAA tournament. So to take credit during then, you know. But LeBron, at this game, watching a baby face Steph, I think this actually is a sign that LeBron was really onto something. Not every NBA star at this point believed in Steph Curry to this level, but apparently LeBron even texted him before this game. At one point, Steph, shifty, whew, cooking. Want to go to Duke, was told he couldn't even be a walk-on. And then the next year after his freshman season, I will pull up the quote in one second as we know Steph is closing this, right? Get out of the way. I'm Steph Curry. We all know. We Get it back. He gets it back. Bang! Love it! Ooh. That guy. That guy. How about the fact his teammate just blew that one? LeBron James for Davidson versus NC State. LeBron, you are a real one. You were supporting Steph from the beginning. That's all I've got to say. As we watch the end of this game, I do also want to say, as a thank you to you guys for being supportive for literally ever to me, and as a thing for Coors Light launching, I am going to be giving away 20 packs here. These are 2021 certified Panini packs. Every single one of them has a chance to get a rookie LaMelo Ball, a rookie Anthony Edwards. Big cards in this box. I hope one of you gets rich that would be amazing and also that wraps up course like too i hope you had an amazing time watching i really love the flow of this episode i think that as we continue to grow we are going to push we are going to do whatever it takes to bring you the best content possible on youtube i want to just grind three episodes a week you know the schedule make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video like this and also i want to know what segments do you want to see what clips do you want to see me look at at the end of the day i want to be talking to you as much as possible so let me know what you think to everyone who's already subscribed thank you so much for being a day day one you're awesome you know it and as always have an awesome day and cue that music you like it you think cleveland's cool i mean i never heard anybody say i'm going to cleveland on vacation what's so good about cleveland have you ever been booed as much in your life my whole life i've been booed